Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, I welcome you. And if you're returning, welcome back. How you doing? It's Chris from Ink Beardsman. And today I have another Elvis vlog. We're gonna do the Lisa Marie, the Plains. Let's go check out the plane here at Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm gonna do different vlogs with some Elvis stuff, but let's go check out the Lisa Marie. underway to take the plane home for months now, but as Elaine Young explains, you can't move an airplane along a busy street very quickly. They waited and they waited for what one fan called history in the making. Today, Elvis Presley's plane, the Lisa Marie, returned home to Memphis. The fans didn't seem to mind that traffic was backed up along Winchester and Elvis Presley Boulevard for three hours as the Lisa Marie moved slowly through intersections. Part of the jet's tail section and wings had been removed, but at some point it was still a tight squeeze. It took more than two hours to get the Lisa Marie to this spot across from Graceland that she'll call home, but none of the fans out here watching... Alrighty, now there's the Lisa Marie and the smaller aircraft is called the Hound Dog 2. Now here's a trivia question for you in one of those six degrees of separation moments. What Hollywood actor was one of the last passengers on the Lisa Marie? Alrighty, time's up, but it's the actor George Hamilton. George, Lisa Marie, and Priscilla were picked up in California after Elvis's death and flown back to Memphis for his funeral in what would be the Lisa Marie's final flight. Let's go inside, we'll check it out, and we'll look around. Now, think about how many times Elvis would have walked in and out of this door. Just incredible to see this. Now when you first get in, you can see everything's frozen in time. There's the phone from the days of Elvis. There's the cockpit where the pilots would have sat. And now right in front of you, you have a small closet where Elvis would have kept his jackets, luggage, those kinds of things. And right across, a small bathroom where all the taps were 24 karat gold. This is the very first room to your right. There's a long brown couch on the left with the TV that, like everything else, is frozen in time. And right across from the brown couch is a green couch. So this is where they would have done a lot of their entertaining, chatted, had uh, visitors. Right behind the brown couch is a table where they could have sat, played cards, had their meals. The layout is the exact same as it was back then. Now, as soon as you walk into the next room, if you look to the left, it's your bar where all your drinks are. And then you have a long dining room table or conference room table uh, where they could have had their meals, meetings, Pretty incredible to see this. Now right after this room, before you get to the bedroom, there is a small, almost a cubby, where there's uh, three chairs and then right across from it a table with two chairs. That's right before you go into the bedroom. And when you walk into the next room, you have your bed on the left hand side. This would have been Elvis's bed. And then right across from the bed, you have a chair and a TV where he could have sat relaxed. But this is the master bedroom. And there's the chair where he could have sat, watched TV. 
And then right attached to the bedroom is your makeup and hairdressing chair. You can almost picture Elvis sitting in the chair getting ready for his appearances. Now let's go check out the Hound Dog 2. You can't walk all the way through this one, it's a lot smaller, uh, but you are able to go inside and look at the layout of the, of the plane. Now Elvis owned a number of airplanes or jets and these are two of them, but this is the Hound Dog 2 I believe. There's the cockpit, and then when you look back, it looks like any smaller plane. It's a pretty routine layout for a plane, but certainly not as elaborate as the Lisa Marie, which was much larger and um, really laid out to Elvis's uh, liking. Just frozen in time, and it's really incredible to see this. So Lisa Marie. Alrighty guys, those were the planes here at Graceland, the Lisa Marie. I'm so glad that I got to show you that. Like I said, I have other vlogs coming out from my time here in Memphis. So I appreciate you joining me. I always like to say life is like a book and I want to read it with you. So until next time guys, from chilly, wet Memphis, Tennessee, the home of the king, peace.